Another interesting comparison, Mecca and Bakka. Have you heard these two names of Mecca before? They both occur once in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal uses the word Mecca. Another time he uses the word Bakka. Now historically speaking, they are both names of the same city, Mecca. Some have argued that Bakka was the first name and Mecca is the later name. More accurately though, linguists have argued that Mecca is the name and Bakka is the nickname. Now, when Bakka is used in Surah Ali Imran with Abba, originating from the word crowd, the very few ayat that follow are ayat of Hajj. Walillahi ala nasi hijjul bayt. What comes with Hajj? Crowd. So, what's the better word in that context? Bakka. But when there's no mention of Hajj in Surah Muhammad, you go back to normal and what word do you use? Makkah. Subhanallah. Even this small detail, you and I would say Makkah, Bakkah, same thing. But the level of precision in the Quran's words is unparalleled. Human beings can't think at that level when they speak. So one thing we learn from Quran is how careful we need to be with our tongues. Right? This is the sunnah of Allah Azza wa Jal. He speaks in very, very, very precise, even to the minutest detail. 